Today we are heading out to do some crappie fishing. Uh, we've got a, a, a decent day today. It's, it's snowing. It's a little chilly. It's, it's going to get cold this afternoon. So we're going to get out, try to get some crappies here right away. Um, we're going to be fishing a classic midwinter bite. We're fishing the deep basin. And, and actually we're not fishing the deepest part of the basin. We're going to kind of do something I don't do that often. Fish a transition. It's uh, not the deepest part of the lake, not up in the weeds, it's kind of in between. So this is going to be an interesting bite today. We're going to see if we can get out there, find some. Where we're fishing, there's some pretty good size. I was, uh, well, the average is probably around 12, but you get plenty 13, 14 inches, um, or at least that's possible. So that's what we're going to be going out and we're going to be looking for. I fished this basic area. I found it not too long ago, so I know there's some good size potential. Um, but we're going to go out, really try to dial in and uh, get some nice fish here. Going to try maybe some lipless cranks today. We're also going to be crappie fishing uh, with some power bait and soft plastic. So we're going to see if we can get out there and find some. To find these fish, we're going to be using the, or we're going to be following the steps of my seven step crappie locating system. If you haven't grabbed that, it's free. Just click in the link in the description of this video uh, if you want to get that. But that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today going out and trying to find these crappies. So I will see you guys when we're out on the lake. We're going to try to get some fish. All right, guys, so we got to the spot. Uh, snowing pretty good out here right now. Get some decent snow, weather's pretty good. I just drilled the first series of holes, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go from hole to hole, fish it for a few minutes, and uh, see if I can find where the school of crappie is, and then we're gonna dial in and hopefully be able to get some nice fish. So I'm gonna get the stuff ready here. I'm gonna start out fishing here. We're gonna, I'm gonna move around and try to find these fish. Um, I'm gonna start out fishing here with this ultralight rip and wrap. This is the smallest one they make. It's This is a pink one. This is the number three. And this sucker is small. So I'm gonna start out with that. I'm gonna start out putting one spike on it just to kind of test the mood of these fish. I don't think I'm gonna need a spike to catch fish uh, on this today, but you never know. So I'm just gonna start out putting a spike on one of the front hooks there. Usually, in a spot like this, where you see all this interference down there, that you usually get in the morning and the evenings in this type of spot, and sometimes you gotta wait for that to clear up a little bit. But a fish down here finally. Oh, but he does not want the rip and wrap. Yet at least. He's dropping back to the bottom. I don't know what it is. He's gone. We've got a fish. Fish down here. They're just starting to move. Um, Letting the rip and wrap down there. Oh, there's two of them now. Look at them coming. Look at them coming. This is what we need. A little more aggressive ones. Oh, but he didn't take it. This is the second fish now. He came up to look at it, and now he doesn't want it. I think there might be some blood worms down here, and that's what those things are feeding on. So I'm going to try this red power bait plastic and see if they'll hit this a little better. Because they did not want pink, did not want the spoon, did not want the rip and wrap. So we're going to try this little red plastic. So guys, the red plastic may have been the key. This is a nice fish right here. Look at this guy. I finally found what they want to hit. This is a good crappie. This is a good crappie. But that's a nice crappie right there. So my dad has got one here. Let's see what he's got. How's he feel? Feels nice. Let's see what he's got here. Here, pull. Oh yeah, nice crappie. Look, that's a that's a 14 incher right there, guys. Look at that fish. That's a big heavy crappie. So he got it on that plastic. So that's why I'm moving over to plastic. He can unhook that sucker. Let him go. I got fish to catch. Got him, guys. About time. There we go. Oh, this guy got up in the hole and then Maui did he make a run. Oh, and that's because it's a nice crappie. Look at this guy down there, guys. Get my gloves off. Boom, nice crappie. Looks like a really nice crappie. Oh, look at 
that one, Dad. Look at that one, guys. That's a nice crappie. That one just ate it. It's like some of them, you get these little tail biters, and then that one comes through and just clobbers the bait. I don't know. We're gonna try a new spot. She's smelling pretty good. Let this guy get warmed up. I'm gonna grab my stuff. My dad's gonna stay here, but I'm moving. All right guys, so I just snowmobiled here to the new spot, drilled a line of holes, and now I'm going to uh, fish them and see if I can find some active fish. The last spot there was some fish, but they were not active. So I'm, I moved to see if we can find some active fish out here. Finally got one to take it. Oh, and it's a nice one too. Look at this guy. That's a nice one right there. Okay, he's he's on the bait. Got him. Ooh, and this is a nice fish. This is a this is a nice fish. Let's see what we got here. Nice crappie. Oh, it's, it's cold today. Ooh, but that right there, guys. That's a nice crappie. Look at that guy. That is a nice looking crappie. I'm gonna get right back down there and see if he has a buddy. He. He smoked that little red bait though. They're getting a, we're finding a few fish that are a little more active, but when we're getting these crappie on that soft plastic, that's fun. Let's see if we can get another one. Got a, another fish down there, but this one, I don't know if it's one. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Come on, hit it, hit it. He's right, he's checking it out. He has not hit it yet, there's two of them. There, got him. There we go. We finally found some, oh, it's a nice one. Finally found some more active fish. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a big one. Oh yeah. Look at this guy. This is a this is a big one. Oh look at that one guys. That's a big crappie. That is a big crappie. This sucker. That's a big crappie. Look at that guy. That is a nice fish. That is a real nice fish. Right, we're gonna get right back there and see if there's another one down. He comes. He's coming. Look at him, look at him come hard. Look at how my locator, he's flying right at there. Oh, there. This guy just came in and crushed it. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh he's pulling drag out. This is a good fish. <clears throat> you see how he got was able to turn himself around in the hole? Oh, yeah. He's got this one. Oh, that's a big one, guys. Oh, he got my bait, right? Oh, my, I can see my bait falling down to the bottom. I got to walk back and get another bait. Yeah, look at that guy. Bait this sucker back up. There we go, we're back in business. When I got back to this hole, there was a fish sitting on the bottom. So we're gonna see, it's snowing pretty good. I'm getting covered in snow. We're gonna see if there's anything else down here. The wind is supposed to pick up. Right now we're just getting a lot of snow. It's supposed to snow and get windy here. Here comes a fish. Oh, look at look at how bad he wants he wants it to. Bam! He came right in. Come on. Oh, he nibbled it. He hit the he hit the tail. I hit. We've been getting a lot of tail biters today. Come on. I don't know if my bait is messed up now, which could be the problem because now he's not so interested. Oh, now look at this one though. Did you see how fast that guy flew up for this thing? This is a big fish. This is a big fish, guys. This guy is pulling. What do I, now all of a sudden, oh, it's a big perch. Look at that perch, guys. This thing was really, he was not pulling like a crappie. He gave it everything he had, and then he uh, gave up. That's a big perch right there. Let's get back down there and see. There's another fish down on the bottom. It'd be cool if there's another nice perch. <clears throat> that was a good perch, probably about 11 incher. So not quite jumbo status, but a nice perch. He smoked, okay, so we got a fish right here. He sees the bait coming. We'll see if you, oh, and he, I think he, want, he wants it. He, here he comes, here he comes. Come on, got him. Oh yeah, another nice fish. Another nice fish, guys. This is a heavy fish. This is not gonna be a perch. Nope, crappie. Nice crappie. Oh, he got me. Look at this crappie, guys. This is that is a nice crappie. I'm gonna let this guy go. We're not, you know, keeping too many fish today, but that is a really nice crappie. Right back down the hole he goes. 
That there. See you guys. Thanks for playing. That was a nice fish, guys. Just this one just came up and absolutely smoked it. And it's a big crappie. Look at this guy. Nice crappie. This guy came up and clobbered it. That's what we like to see. Still using this red piece of plastic. This is what's working, so that's what I'm just been sticking with. Oh, it's a, it's gotta be a crappie the way it's head shaking. Oh yeah. Nice crappie too. There we go, guys. Bam, that's a big crappie. That, I gotta let this guy go. This is a big crappie. Look at the size of that thing. That thing is just huge. It is fun when you are getting big jumbo crappies like that. Make sure he's okay. I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna let him go, that is a monster. That is just a monster. Bam, see you guy. Thanks for playing. To the house. We had a good day today. We caught a lot of big crappies. We got a few nice 14 inchers, some 13s. Uh, we got some you know, good eating size ones as well. We caught a good mixed bag, a variety. It was a lot of fun. It was a tough bite as you could see, um, but that Berkeley, uh, or sorry, the power bait really came through. We really did well in the power bait. That red just seemed to be what they wanted because they did not want that rip and wrap. Um, but the power bait was good, so thanks for watching. Now, if you haven't got my crappie locating system, click on the link in the description of the video. Grab that. Also, if you want to just really figure out how I locate and find these uh, crappies, click on the video right up here in the corner on how to break down a lake and locate crappies fast. I go over some of the stuff that I look for uh, when I'm trying to find these crappies. So make sure you check that video out as well. If you like this video, drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.